Sheridan. Honey, we're running out of time. A decision has got to be made. I know, but it just... Antonio's condition could deteriorate further at any moment. Do you want me to give him the experimental drug or not? I don't understand. What is the problem? Why are you hesitating to give Antonio this drug? You are his wife. You have the power to give him life. Now please, save my son. I know what the situation is. And I want to save Antonio, but it is not that simple. Yes, it is. It is that simple. It's a simple question. Life or death? No, Laura, it's not that simple. As a matter of fact, it's terribly complicated. Really? How? All Sheridan has to say is yes or no. Because the decision that she makes could affect the rest of her life. Her life? She shouldn't be thinking about her life. Is that what's going on, Sheridan? Huh? No. Are you hesitant to give Antonio this drug? Because you know that if he becomes a vegetable, you will be tied to him for as long as he lives. And that means that you would not be able to be with Luis? Well, you can't think about that right now, Sheridan, because you married Antonio. Now, you are his wife. And you cannot let him die because you want to be with his brother. I am not a bad person. I would never let Antonio die just so that I could be with Luis. You wouldn't? No. Oh, thank God. So you're going to say yes to this drug, then? Is that true, Sheridan? Have you decided to give Antonio the drug? No. You won't give Antonio the... No, I haven't decided yet. Sheridan, no. Why would you let her think? Your brother is dying. There is no time to think. I want to honor Antonio's wishes. Well, then tell Eve to go ahead and give my son the drug. Antonio didn't make it clear as to what he wanted, whether or not he wanted to spend the rest of his life incapacitated. Of course he made it clear. He said that he would risk taking this experimental drug, no matter what happened. As long as you were by his side, he wanted to live. That's the option I choose. No, Mama. This is not what Antonio said. Not exactly. He said that he did not want to be a burden to Sheridan. Listen to me, son. And you too, Sheridan. Antonio was being selfless. He said that he would sacrifice his life and his chance at being cured so that Sheridan would not have to take care of him. Yes, he was being selfless when he said that to Sheridan. Right. And now it's her turn. And she should be just as selfless as Antonio and give him this drug, give him a chance at life. Even if it costs you your chance to be with Luis. Mama, it's Sheridan's decision, okay? Antonio wants it that way, and you pressuring her like this isn't helping. Isn't helping? Your brother is in there, lying, dying. Oh, you don't have to stop it. This is my decision. And I want to do what's best for Antonio, and all you're doing is making this harder for me, so stop telling me what to do. I want to do what's best for you, Antonio. No matter what they think or say, I know I can make the right decision. I know I can't... I can't make a decision until I think this through. You have thought. Mama, please. I need time to think. Without being pressured and without being told what to do. My son doesn't have time. Lord. I think she's right. I think that she needs some time to be alone and, and, and to make this decision. Please, Eve. I'm not going to stop fighting for my son. I can't. But Sheridan's just trying to do what Antonio wants. My son was raised in the church. He would want to live. It's a sin to give up on life. And it is also a sin to give up on a life that can be saved. Why can't you people see that? The church says that we have to do everything we can possibly do to save a life. Now, I don't care if my son is incapacitated or in a coma. At least he'd be alive. At least 
we would have some hope for a cure. And medical science is doing all kinds of miraculous things these days. They could find a cure for my son tomorrow. And then I could have my son back. We could all have Antonio back. So if the cure works. I'm on if. Sheridan. What if you let Antonio die? And then the next day, they find a cure for his disease. How would you feel about that, Sheridan? Sheridan, surely you've had enough time. Nurse! Oh, dear God. For the moment, I'm going to have to be brutally honest with you. Antonio's life is hanging on by a thread. Sheridan, I don't want to increase your pressure, but you're going to have to tell me what kind of medical treatment you want for Antonio, and you've got to tell me right now. Antonio's condition could deteriorate at any time, Sheridan. Sheridan, please. You've got to make a decision. Time's running out. Please tell us that you're going to save my son's life. Sheridan, just do us in your heart. You can't wait any longer, Sheridan. What are you going to do? 